Welcome to device setup and today we will learn how to set up RB Wi-Fi 7 mesh system. To start with, first you will need to connect the Ethernet cable from your modem to the internet port of the router. Now this RB router unit is capable of supporting speeds of up to 10 Gbps. So if your internet plan and modem both supports 10 Gbps, then it will work best for you. Moreover, for best performance, for speeds above 1 gigabits per second, we recommend you to use CAT6 cable. And for internet speeds lower than 1 gigabits per second, you can use CAT5 cable. Now, unplug your modem and connect an ethernet cable from modem to the internet port or WAN port of your OB router. Have a look at the bottom of the unit. You will find the sticker pasted which says router unit. And with this, you will be able to differentiate among your RV system. Moreover, if you have direct internet cable from your internet service provider, then connect it directly into the WAN port or internet port of the RB mesh router unit. Next, power on your modem and then connect the RB to the power source using its power adapter. Plus, make sure to plug your satellite close to your router unit for the setup purpose. Next, on your Android or iOS phone, download and install the Orbi app and open the app and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. All the setup steps are fairly simple on the Orbi app that you need to follow. Like, you will need to accept terms and condition, then follow step-by-step -step guide, followed by scanning the QR code on the bottom of your Orbi unit with your phone. Once you have stable power LED on your unit, then tap LED is solid on the Orbi app. Next, you will need to join the Orbi network. In case your app is not able to do so, then you can manually do that by going to your Wi-Fi list and connecting to the Orbi Wi-Fi network. Once the Orbi is found, next you can customize the network name or SSID and password of your Orbi network as per your choice. Once configured, the Orbi router unit will automatically detect the satellite units and you just need to make sure they are within the range of your router unit and are plugged in into a power source. Once detected, you can then add another satellite unit or just finish the setup process. Lastly, in case you are not able to set up the orbit, then you can reset it. For that, watch the video in the description to learn how to do it. Finally, if you found this video useful, then please do like and subscribe to support my efforts. Thank you.